So in 2019, I got a new Navionics uh, Platinum Plus chip for uh, Texas Gulf Coast and noticed that the uh, satellite imagery had changed. Um, it's more consistent now. The entire Texas coast is uh, has got vertical striping. Where they ran, uh, where they seamed together the ortho imagery, looks like they uh, flew a pattern of uh, north to south, and uh, the eastern edge of all this ortho imagery has a ton of. reflection noise making that imagery fairly useless you can't see anything below the water line um, here's here's probably the clearest example I've seen right down the middle of the Laguna Madre south of Baffin Bay um, you've got this big white stripe um, where the 40% of the eastern half of that stripe um, is, uh, is completely white, reflective, washed out imagery. Um, the reflection gradually fades to where about middle of that stripe it's usable imagery and then it gets even clearer towards the western edge of the stripe in the middle of Baffin Bay uh, just before you hit the next white washout zone. Um, so now the, the Navionics satellite imagery displayed on the map is, um, some of it's better, some of it's much worse. Um, you no longer have areas throughout the state where the previous version, say Port O'Connor area was pretty much uniformly great imagery. Um, that's no longer the case. Uh, if we continue up the coast... Here we are getting into San Antonio Bay. Uh, same issue. Um, maybe worse here. Uh, looks like the western edge of these stripes has most of the reflectivity noise. The Spiritu Santo Bay, roughly half of the imagery is useful so you've got fairly useful imagery uh, here in in big pocket um, around Siluria um, at least the the inner parts of Siluria around Bayacos Island as soon as you get from the uh, Siluria entrance out to Matagorda Bay you got white washout with uh, pretty much zero uh, useful information uh, there. Um, and then as you move past that zone, you've got pretty different, pretty, pretty good information um, along a stripe that runs above the Matagorda Peninsula up to the uh, western edge of Bird Island out to the channel. So, it's, uh, it's more consistent than it was before, um, but almost half of it is unusable for uh, being able to see anything below the water. So, back down here to uh, the lower Laguna Madre, this is uh, just south of uh, the Arroyo, Colorado. And this is uh, out in front of the Cullen House. You've actually got pretty good imagery out here by these uh, um, three islands area. But uh, back here into uh, El Rialto Bay, west of uh, the Cullen House, 
total white washout on those areas. So Lower Laguna Madre, South Padre, depending on where you go, you've got pretty decent imagery showing you a lot about the uh, where the potholes were at this particular date, um, where the island edges are. Then there's other areas, like if you go east of here, in the middle of the uh, Laguna Madre, you run into uh, white washed out reflectivity, a fairly narrow strip of it here, making uh, uh, really just uh, a few hundred feet vertically across the screen unusable. Um, it just, uh, the, the, the width of that unusable area varies. Um, so, on balance, better than it was before, but definitely still issues.